Well, I spoke to union leaders that represent postal workers here in Seattle. They say that between the pandemic and the election in November, it's clear that it's the workers that are caught in the middle of political infighting. Inside the U.S. Post Office station in Wallingford, Democrats making it clear they're ready to brawl. We will fight you in committee. We will fight you in the hallways. We will fight you on the floor. We will fight you in court. At stake, the future of the U.S. Postal Service, a service its own leadership says is in dire need of stimulus money. We're a public service, and we deserve money, too, because we're a vital, basic service. Our customers need us. Postal workers say they're caught in the middle of a budget battle that's lasted months. The pandemic will mean more mail-in ballots, a system that President Trump claims is flawed, and one that the Postmaster General says could be impacted if they don't get the funding they need. If there are office holders, who are not standing up and speaking out, then they are complicit. Washington state Democrats accusing some Republicans of going as far as stalling on a vote in an attempt to impact the November election. They call vote by mail inaccurate and fraudulent, but we in Washington state know that vote by mail is safe, it's secure, it's legitimate, and it's necessary. A pandemic relief bill would be a boost to a department that the president just today on Twitter called failing. Though just hours later, the president tweeting, save the post office. With the funding future of USPS uncertain, David Yao of the American Postal Workers Union fears the biggest damage may be done to the service's reputation. If you look at the total picture, there's a lot of disruption, and it seems like, um, well, the big worry is that people's faith in the postal service will be shaken and they'll be afraid to vote. That union leader says that due to restructuring at the top, his workers have seen some changes in day to day operation, but he wants to insist voters that those haven't impacted the speed of mail whatsoever. In Seattle, Sebastian Robertson, King 5 News.